Hey everyone, everyone. Welcome, welcome back, back to Five Minute Eats, and we are here today with a little pouch um, food item for you. Could be a meal, I guess, could be a side dish, an accompaniment, whatever you like. Choose your own adventure. But today we have the A Dozen Cousins Creole Red Beans, Louisiana style beans, slow simmered with bell peppers and spices made with avocado oil. And it is a one chili pepper mild spice level, 10 ounces for about $3. This sounds really good. So we came across this at our local Meyer grocery store and uh, we've done, I think one or two products from them before. I think one other and it was chickpeas. Yeah. So we came across this one and this one is right up my alley. Mm -hmm. How about you? You know, I like beans uh, to me. Just looking at the cover, I'd be like, yeah, I would like that. Looking at the bowl, I feel like it looks more like a chunky refried bean than a soupy type of bean. Yeah, it's totally different from the packaging. Yes. But the packaging is beautiful. Beautiful. It looks like a million bucks. It really draws you to it. Yes. So it looks like it's from, uh, uh, I believe, like an immigrant from, um, is it the Dominican Republic um, or something like that? Well, it says that they were a melting pot of Creole, Caribbean, and Latin American cuisine. Oh, okay. Um, yeah. And uh, on the back, they have like serving ideas. Mm -hmm. They have little fun facts, which is always really nice. Yes. Um, and so like looking at this though, to me, I'm not really bothered by it, you know? It smells uh, pretty good. It smells pretty good. I, I mean, I, I'm not bothered but, by it, but I do think that it is a bit deceptive whenever you think you're buying one thing and then it looks like that to me you know like i love beans like this um we buy the beans that are like uh made similar mm -hmm. by goya uh they have like the red beans and they have the black beans mm -hmm. and um they got all the like the onions and stuff like that all yeah. like pre-made in there so you just got to open it up heat it and have it and it's really good so for this who comes in a pouch and just pop it in the microwave mm -hmm. and like it's ready to go. Yeah. Really drew me to it. I like mm -hmm. that idea because, you know, I don't have to waste my time opening the can and putting it in a bowl and all that kind of stuff. Yes. So hopefully it's good. And guys, if you're new to our channel, basically we review everyday grocery items. So before you spend your hard earned money, let us tell you if it's worth it. If you'd like to support this channel, the easiest way to do that is using our Amazon links the next time you shop there. Right, guys, welcome back our rating system. Thumbs up right again, thumbs down, we would not. So for me, this is a thumbs down. I had high hopes for this, but to me, this is just like a mashed red beans. And I think it's the garlic in here because the other ingredient it says is spices. Mm -hmm. I just think it's way too much. It's intense garlic with beans and it's like a mashed beans. You know, like I said before the break, I really love the one from Goya. I think that thing is awesome. It's flavorful. It's just perfect, right? And it's great because it's in a can. You can keep it in the cupboard whenever you want it. And I was, and with this, I like mm. the fact that it came in a pouch. I was super excited, um, but this is just, it needs to be redone, man. This, this needs tweaking. It's just, just too much garlic and it's just burning my mouth and for me, thumbs down. If you like what we're doing here, please consider sending a super thanks. It helps us continue to provide more amazing content. Hmm. Alrighty, for me, this one is going to be a thumbs down. I went back and forth, like I didn't like it the whole way through. I didn't love it. There were times where I was kind of like, Maybe I could make this work somehow, but I don't want to have to make it work. What I'm spending my money on, I just want it to work right out of the pouch. Like I don't want to have to put in extra effort, especially whenever, quite honestly, this is a premium product considering the cost of the can of Goya. And it's got like, you know, 50% more in it. And it actually looks like the cover of this, whereas this, is refried beans basically and you think you're buying like a bean soup kind of thing yeah i didn't like that because on the cover it looks like one thing then the actual product is different yes. and it was a little annoying i agree so the thing is i feel like i liked the spices that they put in there 
I don't think that there was enough of them. And I feel like the garlic overpowered most of it though. So whenever I could get past the garliciness of it, I was thinking like, this really isn't that bad. It's kind of got a nice salt level. It has a nice kind of flavor with the spices, but then that garlic, like every time you get past it, it's coming back, you know? And even, it's just rearing its head. Even right now, it's way too intense in my mouth. Yes, and it's overpowering. Like it should have been more well balanced. The other thing about it is that I don't think that this particular product should have been put in a pouch because I think that it probably went into the pouch looking mostly how it does on the cover, but because it's in a pouch and you're transporting it and they're like packed in there, I think that the beans got mashed in transit, you know, because this is how they looked coming directly out of the pouch. Just for the record, I think um, um, maybe it's because it doesn't have all these like additives and all this mm -hmm. kind of stuff in it because it just has water, kidney beans, onion, dried green bell peppers, garlic, avocado oil, and sea salt spices. Yeah. So very little ingredients because if you go to other companies, they have like 15 different things. You can't yeah. pronounce it. I think these guys had good intentions, but like I said, needs tweaking. Yes. To sum it up, thumbs down, thumbs down. And if you guys buy from Amazon, use our Amazon link. The reason is when you do that, we get 10 cents, 50 cents, possibly even a dollar, which means we can continue to review things. All right, guys, that's the video. If you like what we're doing here, definitely check out our other channel, Food Prep Inc. And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe.